guys it's PC Helper here and today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game and Bay 2K18 on your PC. I have a few possible workarounds for this issue so let's get started. Number 1. Connect to the internet using Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. So if you do have an option to connect to the internet using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, so prefer using Ethernet cable because it has been proved that Wi-Fi takes a lot of your PC's RAM so it do decrease your game's performance. Number 2. Reduce the video configurations. So to reduce the video configurations of your game, just go to one. Here type percentage app data percentage sign again and press enter. Here go to 2K Sports folder and here it's NB2K17 folder, you will have the same folder named NB2K18 because the laptop I'm using to record this video and this laptop NB2K18 is not installed right now so the settings are same for both the games so just have a look so here what you have to do is just change MSA, MSA quality, SSA quality, reflections, monitor and dynamic in, uh, adapter vendor so first of all change MSA quality to 0 I've already done it also change SSA to 0 change reflections to 0 monitor to 0 letterbox to 0 have a look at the screen and change everything to 0 that I have on my screen so once you do that save this file and close this notepad file Number third, download a game booster. So a game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So the game booster which I recommend you to download is Razer Cortex Game Booster. So to download it, just go to www.razerzone.com slash cortex. The link of this site will be in the description of this video. So just click on it and you will be redirected to this website. And here click on download. Once you click on it, your download will be started. I'll not be downloading it as I've already downloaded it. So once you download it, just check my other video in which I've explained on how to set up Razer Cortex Game Booster. It's a big video and it's a big setup to uh, and how to set up Razer Cortex. So you can check that video out. The link of that video will also be in the description of this video. So this was for the third step. And fourth workaround is delete temporary files. Most of you must know, must have known that how to delete temporary files. But I'll show you, and I'll show you some extra folders from where you can delete temporary files. So first is just go to your run command box and type temp and delete every file present here. Most of the people know about these temporary files. Skip with the files which are not being deleted. Go to run. Here again type percentage T E M P and again percentage sign. Here select every file, delete them, press enter. As you can see there are more than 5000 temporary files in my PC. So it is a temporary fix but yeah it helps. So deleting temporary files also helps in increasing performance of the game. So this was the second folder having temporary files. Now once these are deleted just go to your PC and in local disk C go to windows folder. In windows folder you'll find and find a folder named prefetch. This folder also contains all the temporary files so don't hesitate to delete all the files present here. Yes the files which are not being deleted yeah. so this was for the fourth workaround delete temporary files number five change the priority of the game to high so to change the priority of any software or any game running on your PC to high I'll show you how to do it just right click here on your taskbar oh I don't have any space to click uh, uh, uh. 
right click on the taskbar and go to task manager so to change anything's priority to high just click on it you have to do the same with your nb2k18 game so just run the game nb2k18 so once it's in the background process go to it right click on it and go to its details and here right click on it and set its priority to high so this also do the same it puts maximum of your pc's ram and running that particular game so all you have to do is just do all these things for nb2k18 go to task manager select nb2k18 and go to its details and set priority to high number six update your driver using driver updater so most of the people ignore it because using drive you know, updating your drivers is the thing that everyone do, do quite frequently and also windows updates come every week every other day but some of your drivers are outdated and you don't even know about them so just go to google and type download driver scanner it is one of the most important workaround of all these six workarounds because updated drivers are must for running high-end games like nb2k18 so here you can download any of the down driver scanner present on the web you can get many driver scanner present here so depending upon you you can download any one of them either trial version or paid version so download any one of them so once you will download it by one click you will get all the available updates for your drivers you can download them by one click so that's for the th last workaround that is update your driver using driver updater so that's all for this video these were the six workarounds for fixing lag of the game and we took 18 if this works for you please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day